60 miles from downtown LA is a dry desert land covered by Joshua trees. This is Antelope Valley, the largest and northernmost region of Los Angeles County. But like the rest of the county, Antelope Valley is facing a crisis. There are over 3,600 homeless individuals in the region. Most live unsheltered in the desert, battling dangerous wildlife and a severe climate. So the roughest part about living in the desert homeless, first three priorities every morning, water, food, and shade. In that order, pretty much. The hardest thing. Other than that, staying clean. It's really hard. You cannot avoid the dirt, the dust. There is only one shelter available to all of Antelope Valley's homeless population. It has 100 beds. Therefore, many must fight for survival outdoors. One man, who wishes to remain anonymous, has engineered a home for himself in a bunker, using discarded materials he found in the desert. Been for about five years. Went through bad divorce, if you will. Made some bad decisions, you know, real estate market, and went down on a, on a downward uh, spiral. Figured I, I dug myself into a hole. That's symbolic to be the place here. I dug a hole for myself and uh, I need to climb out of it. And in the process of doing this. He began building his museum-like refuge three years ago. Things that I pick up are things that I usually can use for shelter and uh, for making resources and for making money. Many materials he transported on foot and by cart and bicycle before he was able to buy a small truck. licensed professional, you know, and, and until I get that back, I'm, I don't want to work in that field. So I've gone to the complete opposite, which is mainly labor. I've done just about anything from electrical to plumbing and cement, whatever odd jobs I can get. Mainly uh, scrapping, you know, recycling. Life in the desert can be solitary. Some camp in groups, but this man lives alone. I don't like rules. <laughs> I guess maybe that's part of it. And uh, I kind of wanted to isolate myself, I guess, from people. It gets lonely without my dog, yeah, it does. <laughs> my best friend, more loyal than, than people have been to me anyway. It's just uh, people, I made some bad choices and others are here by choice, you know, really. In general, just don't judge a book by its cover, you know, you never know what's underneath it. 